My name's Amanda Tapping, and I am playing Diane. I, I love her. I didn't like her when I first read her. I thought, ah, she, she's kind of a bitch, but she's not. She's just a really wonderful, fully realized woman who's not quite getting what she needs in life. Zach Santiago plays my husband, and I'm desperately in love with him. He is amazing, and he came, he wasn't originally going to play this part, he was going to play a different part, and I'm so glad it all got switched around. He came to my house with Katrin for a rehearsal. There was an instant, I knew who Zach was, I'd met him before, but, and it has been one of those rare experiences as an actor where you walk away kind of vibrating, going, oh, that felt so good. You know? And it's, I, I credit Zach with that. So my name's Katrin Bow and I'm the writer, director and producer of Random Acts of Romance, which is a sex comedy playing here at VIF. It stars an incredible cast. I'm really fortunate to have Amanda Tapping in the cast. And Robert Maloney. Hello. <laughs> and uh, the film is uh, about two couples whose lives are falling apart and three singles who torture them, harass them and make their lives uh, a living heck. Um, and it features a lot of indie Vancouver bands and it's just a, it's kind of like a roller coaster ride once you get on the film. So Amanda, what was it like playing Diane? Yeah. <laughs> she plays a very crazy character. My character, you catch my character at a point where her life is literally falling apart and she's miserable. Uh, not to say she's not without her sense of humor, but she's, uh, you catch her at the, probably the darkest days of her life. So it's pretty intense. She's crazy. So crazy. Yeah. And then Robert, what about you playing David? What were some of the interesting things you had to delve into to find? Well, I think the thing about David is that he's quite a repressed individual, and but there's a simmering sort of uh, unhappiness uh, underneath that he expects his wife to fulfill and that's not happening and so um, when the shit hits the fan as they say here I'm not a lot sure if I'm allowed to say that but that's kind of what happens uh, it kind of takes the lid off of David and he loses it as well um, so that was challenging and fun and um, at the end of the movie who knows maybe these two characters get together they may be right maybe they do so check it out it's at VIF and we're really excited Well, it's a sex comedy and it's an anti-rom-com. It's about basically two couples whose marriages are falling apart. The first film I made for 50000 this one's half a million, so it's ten times the budget. It was a real challenge. It's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, actually. I'm super grateful and thankful to have this opportunity. It's, it truly is a highlight of my life. It's edgy, it's hilarious, um, and it's something that I think, you know, everybody can relate to. There's something about the making an independent film that feels so real, and it's all hands on deck, and it's, it feels far more collaborative. It's a great sense of camaraderie on the set. There's a lot of laughter. There's a great, um, it's just a great vibe. I think Katrin kind of brings that sort of vibe to it, and it's, it's been, I think, one of the most joyful experiences I've had in a while. It's really, really fun. Great cast of characters and a great cast of actors and, and a really fun crew. And the crew, interestingly, are some really phenomenally experienced people and some newbies. And I just think that kind of mentoring mentality on this set is really cool. It's about love. It's about love and it's about different stages of it and not having it and losing it or looking for it or trying to repair it, trying to save it, trying to invent it. I think it's really about, about relationships and love and, and sex and intimacy. Working with Katrin Bowen is, is uh, it's a treat, it's a dream. I really see how she carries through that, that vision, you know, and as she's an auteur, you know, she had a big hand writing this film too, so she, she really lives these characters in this story and carries their nervous systems in her, and that, I think that really translates for the actors, and then I think people on, on set feel safe, crew feel safe, because they know that she, she's got a good idea of what she's trying to do, so for me, it's, it's an incredible, it's a great experience to work with her.
I think the best part about doing a movie like this and the part that attracts me the most is we get the color outside the lines, lines that we don't normally get the color outside of when we're doing conventional commercial dramas. You have to really stick to the party line when you're doing those things. In this one, we can explore, we can take chances, we can take risks. Katrin puts a lot of trust in the cast and the crew um, to do what they need to do best and what they think is best, but she also really knows what she wants. So she's able to help you know, guide us, and we're all kind of working towards her vision, but it's very freeing working with her. So it's been, it's been a great experience. I mean, this hair and makeup and wardrobe does about 80% of my job for me. It's fun and crazy and nutty and we're having a, a, a blast, yeah. I really love the script. I really love the people. The actors are sensational. I feel honored to be in their company. I'm a big fan of creating our own indigenous Canadian film scene and supporting it. And so anytime that something like Random Acts of Romance gets off the ground and I get an opportunity to be in it, I'm going to throw everything I have uh, behind it. I think you have to laugh at love, you know, you have to laugh at your own humanity, your own clumsiness in love and, and just how it's not perfect, it's sloppy, it's messy, it's, it's all of what makes us human. And uh, that's it. And now they're ready for me. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Here we go. My name's Katrin Bowen. I'm the director of Random Acts of Romance. And I have Amanda Tapping, who I've known forever. When this part came about, I immediately thought of her and I thought she would be the perfect Diane. And she is incredible. And when you see her performance in this, you're gonna die because she's so hilarious. Some of the funniest scenes have been the Sonia stalking Richard scenes and the sex scenes like with um, Richard and the Diane character have just been hysterical. And the sex scenes where Diane character is like attacking Matt, you know, and, and she's so drunk and she's trying to give him a blowjob and she just falls over and it's just that those scenes were some of the funniest ones we've done. I have Robert Maloney who plays David, um, Sonia Bennett is playing Lynn, Catherine Isabel is playing Bud, I've got Laura Bertram who's playing Holly and she's fantastic as well. I have Zach Santiago who's playing Matt and Zach is amazing, he worked on Amazon Falls as well. Ted Weidel playing Richard and He's, um, he's a real method actor, <laughs> and he's great. He's in character all the time. It's perfect. In fact, two of the characters, oddly enough, have the same names as two of my exes, who are oddly enough a lot like the characters. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's a coincidence. <laughs>
I really see how she carries through that that vision, you know. And as she's a no tour, you know, she had a big hand writing this film too. So she she really lives these characters in this story and carries their nervous systems in her. And that I think that really translates for the actors. And then I think people on on set feel safe, crew feel safe because they know that she she's got a good idea of what she's trying to do. So for me, it's it's an incredible, it's a great experience to work with her. I think the best part about doing a movie like this and the part that attracts me the most is we get to color outside the lines, lines that we don't normally get to color outside of when we're doing conventional commercial dramas. You have to really stick to the party line when you're doing those things. In this one, we can explore, we can take chances, we can take risks. Katrin puts a lot of trust in the cast and the crew um, to do what they need to do best and what they think is best, but she also really knows what she wants. So she's able to help you know, guide us, and we're all kind of working towards her vision, but it's very freeing working with her. So it's been, it's been a great experience. I mean, this hair and makeup and wardrobe does about 80% of my job for me. It's fun and crazy and nutty and we're having a, a blast, yeah. I really love the script. I really love the people. The actors are sensational. I feel honored to be in their company. I'm a big fan of creating our own indigenous Canadian film scene and supporting it. And so any time that something like Random Acts of Romance gets off the ground and I get an opportunity to be in it, I'm going to throw everything I have uh, behind it. I think you have to laugh at love, you know, you have to laugh at your own humanity, your own clumsiness in love and, and just how it's not perfect, it's sloppy, it's messy, it's, it's all of what makes us human and uh, that's it. And now they're ready for me. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Here we go.